I don't know, stub your toe, maybe, I don't know, I'll just go, guys, go off the screen, goodbye. <laughs> guys good morning so today I thought I would show you my empties I've been waiting for a couple of months until I'd finished enough things to sort of show you um, some of them you might have seen in other things um, some of them still have the tiniest bit left but I'm terrible for just throwing it in the bin so <laughs> I've gone and got them and brought them in so some of them have a little bit of product left so yes let's get on with it I've put everything in a little box cam looks a bit like a hamper right now which is a bit weird okay so the first thing i'm going to start with is <laughs> actually a food stuffs well drink stuffs um as we know i love my water i drink so much water um i also drink too much coffee so i like to try and find things that sort of replace that need for coffee um but still give me a bit of energy i found a few teas that work i found juices work in the morning but something that i found that is really really good is the smart water which you know is really really odd i find a lot of mineral water actually makes me more thirsty than tap water which i imagine is probably the minerals or salt or whatever that's in it are causing me to still be quite thirsty i find with this i don't get that and also it has added electrolytes which electrolytes help sort of Okay, I'm not 100% sure what electrolytes do. All I know is they help give you a bit of a boost. And I know that if you're hungover, you're supposed to have electrolytes. Um, I know Coca-Cola has electrolytes in it, but obviously not healthy. But water is good, and this has electrolytes. And I find in the morning it gives me a bit of a boost. I haven't had any coffee this morning, and I'm still very awake. So, brilliant. Love that. The next thing we have is a bath item. It is the... Please excuse the state of this bottle. It is the Radox Sleep Easy with chamomile and jasmine bath soak. I love this. It's, it smells mouldy now. <laughs> it smells mouldy now because I've been keeping it waiting to put it in this. I have replaced it and it does smell amazing. And it really, really helps me sleep. I struggle to drop off. It takes me about an hour to two hours to drop off at night. And I find with this, it only takes me about 30 minutes. We also do like muscle soak and de-stress. A tip from Emily, who you'll be seeing soon, hopefully, fingers crossed. Um, she actually puts a lot of them together and mixes them and apparently just makes an incredible bath. The Elnet Flexible uh, Extra Strength Hold Hairspray. This is fantastic, it holds your hair, it doesn't make it look like it's wet or greasy. It holds it in place, still maintains the texture and uh, brushes out. So the best hairspray I've ever used, I don't think I will ever ever switch from this and so yes I use this all the time it is amazing next we have hand soap there's still a tiny little bit left in it but I'm not actually able to get it out it is the fun editions of Carex and I have tried the bubblegum one the strawberry laces the chocolate orange no I think that's it and I wasn't a massive fan of all of them but then <laughs> cola bottles I love cola bottles so much and this smells exactly like cola bottles i actually went and bought cola bottles after i purchased this it's probably not the best thing to have in the house it smells like cola bottles when you wash your hands it smells like sweets it smells exactly like the thing it's meant to smell of just absolutely adore this this is the third one i think we've had of this we get through one every two weeks um just oh i adore this will be repurchasing this is actually a full bottle because i threw the other one away this is the forever living aloe vera jelly soothing clear gel it is literally just aloe vera gel and that's it it is the best aloe vera gel i've ever used i use it for everything i use it on my pets it is so safe and so natural and so you know for someone who's allergic to everything and my dog's pretty much allergic to everything clearly kindred spirits it is absolutely amazing I use it on burns, cuts, ulcers, scratches, uh, if I've got a sore throat I'll take a teaspoon of it because it's perfectly fine to do that and it just takes the pain away and heals so quickly. Um, yeah, I have a little pot of it in my bag that I carry around just in case, it is just the best thing so I really recommend this. Makeup wipes, again another Primark favourite, I've again with makeup wipes I struggle to find ones that don't make me break out or have an allergic reaction so again Primark has won that uh, these are the gentle facial cleansing wipes in oh fragrance free for sensitive skin yes the pink ones 
Um, they're amazing. They take makeup off really well. Um, I find eye makeup, I may have to use an eye makeup remover, but you should do that anyway. Um, I like to use a makeup remover to take everything off. If you'd like to see, you know, sort of a day routine for me, then comment below and I'll, I'll try and do that. On the days when I'm lazy, which, you know, everyone has them, or if we've got in late and I don't have time, or just to sort of give my face a bit of a clean, um, absolutely love these they do they're really good absolutely love them and i think it, it's a twin pack for a pound so you really can't go wrong with them uh, eyelashes i bought these on a whim when i was out shopping with emily uh, they were actually from a home store is it home sense it's the eye candy dramatized lashes <laughs> what okay it, okay i can't yeah eye candy dramatized lashes with intense length and this is what i have on today and they look natural natural enough that i'm not going whoa because the ebay ones that i bought are brilliant for sort of a dramatic nighttime look but i don't actually own any that are a bit more natural for daytime so these are fantastic i absolutely love these and they're reusable and the glue that comes with it is okay it's usable really simple to put on probably the easiest lashes i have ever 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 put on they go on like that they stay on like that and they just mold to the shape of my eye um, absolutely love these will be repurchasing quite a few of these they're meant to be about five pounds each I pay 2 99 for these but as they're reusable I'm not too worried about that and they do keep going so yes very good next is this thing that I've already talked about that I'm really unhappy about it is the marshmallow bath cream by Imperial Leather that smells nothing like marshmallows and doesn't even have a scent when you put it in the bath and creates no bubbles it is awful I will never repurchase this again I don't think I will ever purchase Imperial Leather again because I've had a couple of other things that have just been pants so this for me was a big no-no absolutely hate it will not repurchase it used it all because I'm a cheapskate but yeah hated it. And the last thing we have is the Urban Decay All Nighter, you can, there's still a tiny bit left in it. The All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray, long lasting. Good God is it long lasting. Yes, absolutely love this. It's in the larger size. I have had the travel size before. I like Urban Decay's travel sizes because I get to try out the product before, you know, I commit to it and it's a lot cheaper and if I like it then I'll go and buy it and print every single travel size thing that I've bought I've always gone back and got another one and it does it holds all night it also really bizarrely when you put on your foundation and your powder and your blush and your contour and everything you put it all together and it still looks a bit I don't want to say cakey but like you've got a lot of makeup on you put this that's the wrong way you put this on and it looks like skin even though I've already got skin but it just, just gives a layer of shininess and dewiness yet mattiness and it just, I don't even know what I'm talking about this is really good I really recommend it get it so that was it guys I hope you enjoyed my empties for the month of June hopefully I'm going to be able to make one of these every month um I don't know how quickly I'm going to get through things this month I've bought a lot of stuff that I need to get through but normally um I probably would I might start adding other bits and bobs to it that I've used and I've really enjoyed. Thanks for watching guys, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button and I will see you tomorrow.